This is another Sudoku Primer video. Go to sudokuprimer.com for more information. Volume 100 of Sudoku to Go by Soap Opera Digest is out, is out now. Um, and this puzzle comes from that volume. And as we've done in the past, we're going to solve uh, one puzzle from each skill level. Easy, medium, hard, and diabolical. This is an easy one. Uh, we'll have three more videos after this one. Um, we're going to, um, when we solve this easy puzzle, we're going to talk about a few techniques that you can use to uh, solve easy, solve easy pro, uh, puzzles and uh, other skill levels too. Uh, the first one we're going to talk about is row, column, and square completion. Uh, then we're going to talk about walls, uh, with a wall pattern. Then we're going to talk about sections and solving for sections. And then we'll talk about ghost numbers. So let's talk about um, row, column, and square completion first. Let's look at this row right here. We've got all but three of the numbers filled in, so it's three empty cells. Let's see what those three numbers are for these three cells. We've got a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 6, 8, and 9 here. Okay. Um, so what we need to do is find out whether we can eliminate two of those three numbers for one of these cells. There's a 9 here, so that's got to be a 6 or an 8. We've only eliminated one number here. Let's look at this cell right here. We've got an 8 and a 6. So 6, 8, 9. We've eliminated the 6 and 8 for that cell, so we can put a 9 in there. Okay. Now that we've eliminated one of the three cells, we've got two cells left. Now we only have to eliminate one of the two numbers. We have six and eight left. Um, there's a six right there, so we can put an eight there. Okay, and the six goes there. All right, so that's what's called row completion. You can do the same thing with columns. You can do the same thing with squares. Right here we've got a, a square with only two numbers missing. Um, we could solve that one. Or we've got a column here with one, two, three, four numbers missing. We could try and solve that one. Okay. Uh, the next technique I want to tell you about is the wall pattern. Um, anywhere we, where you have a square with a with three three cells already filled in, in a row or a column, you've got a wall. Like here's a wall, here's a wall, here's a wall, there's a wall, there's a wall, oh, that's not a wall, there's a wall right there. Okay, and let me show you what you can do with that. You've got a six right here, so we know that six can't fit in any of these cells, because you've already got one. You've got a 6 here, so you can't put a 6 there. But you know that the 6 has to fit in one of these two places here um, because of this wall. Okay, So that's a concept of a wall, and you can do that um, with the 4 right here too. We've got a 4. We've got a, so one of these is a 4 because of this 4 here. And notice how you've got a 4 there and a 4 there already, so we can fill in a 4 right there. So that's the concept of a wall pattern. Um, going through sections is kind of what we were just doing. Uh, we looked at these two. We've got a section here of three squares with three columns in those three squares. And we have a 4 here, and a 4 here already, so we just need a 4 in one of these places, and there's a 4 right there. So when we notice that a 4 had to fit in one of these cells, um, because of this 4 here in this wall, 
then we found these other two fours and we filled that four in. That's, that's called going through sections. Uh, the last uh, technique I want to talk about is um, ghost numbers. Now, if you remember, we have a six here. So that means the six can't fit in either of these places. And we've got a six in one of these two cells. We don't know which one yet it will fit in. Um, but what that does is that eliminates this column. We can't have a six here or here or here or here because we know the six has to go in one of these two cells. So we have a six here. And since we have ghost sixes here, we eliminate that. So we know that one of these has to be a six. Since we have a six there, we can put the six in there. Okay. okay so that's the concept of ghost numbers. We have ghost sixes here. Even though we don't know where the six goes, we know it has to fit in this row. All right, so those are the four um, techniques that we wanted to talk about. Let's start solving this um, puzzle, and we'll use those four techniques to completely solve it. Uh, we have a wall right here. We have a 9, 4, and 1 in this column here. So one of those three numbers probably could fit in here because of this wall. 4 and 1 are already in there, but the 9 isn't, so we know this is a 9. So we use this wall to find that 9. We could have also gone through sections, 9 and 9 are already in these two columns, and found this 9 that way, but uh, we use the wall instead. Usually there's multiple techniques you can use to find numbers. Now we can do column completion here. We've only got one number missing in this column. Three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's a three missing there. So we'll put that in. Okay. Uh, let's do square completion for this one right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's a two there and a three there, so that has to be three, two. Okay. Let's try doing sections with these twos right here, going through this section, two, two, so two has to go in one of these places, there's just two there already, so that, that's a two. Um, <clears throat> we got two and two, so one of these has to be a two, going through this section, there's a two there, so we can fill that two in. Now we can do two and two, one of these has to be a two, we only know about this two here, so one of these two has to be a two. We can't solve that yet. Okay. Uh, let's look at this row right here, do row completion. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oops, I'm sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So four and eight are missing there got a 4 there, so we know that's an 8, and that's a 4. Okay, we can do square completion here and quickly fill that one in. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 5. We can do row completion here or square completion. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There's a 9 there, so that's an 8. That's a 9. Let's try doing sections here. Nine, nine, nine. And there's a nine there already. So we solved that going through sections. What about this this square right here? One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One and eight are missing. There's a one there. Okay. Now we just have one number here. Eight, nine, eight. Let's do go through sections here. Eight and eight, eight. Oh, we can't solve that one yet. All right. Let's look at these two here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And there's a six, so that's a seven, and that's a six. And then we've almost got this one done. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. There's an eight, so five, 
8. Once you get these techniques down, you'll be able to do easy puzzles really quickly. What do we have missing here? 1, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There's a 6, so 1, 6. Um, there's only 2 missing here. 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1 and 3, there's a 1 there, so that's 1 and 3. Only one number missing here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I always go through the rest of the numbers just to make sure that I didn't make a mistake. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One and seven, there's a one there, so seven, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now this one's three and eight. Um, we could solve that, solve this square or solve this column, right? There's a three there, so three, eight. Okay, coming along nicely. Now we've only got, let's see, those four rows, we've got four numbers missing, four cells empty in each of these columns, and three empty cells in each of these rows. So let's choose the the rows because there are fewer numbers missing. So let's look at this row right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, and three are missing. There's a one and a three, so that's a two. There's a, so we have one and three left. There's a three there, so there's a one and three. Okay, what do we have here? It's like five, seven, and nine. One, Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Five, seven, and nine. So we look for one where we have two of those three numbers in the, in the column. There's a five and a nine, so that's a seven. Okay, there's a seven there. So we have a five and nine left. There's a nine there, so that's a five. And that's a nine. Okay. Now that we've done these two rows, now we only have two numbers in each of these columns, so that's a little easier. So let's do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two and seven, there's a seven there. And seven. Okay, one, two, oop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Six and eight, there's a six. So eight and six. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Four and five are missing, so there's a four. So that's a five and a four. Okay. So as you can see, um, using those four techniques, row, column, and square completion, uh, wall patterns, uh, going through sections, and ghost numbers, help you solve an easy puzzle pretty quickly. So watch for the um, solving of a medium, hard, and diabolical puzzle. The three more videos coming out soon. Um, we'll see you soon.